the C7 rifle and C8 carbine. Direct gas operation, air cooled, rotating bolt locking action, magazine fed, semi automatic and fully automatic firing. The cycle of operation has seven distinct actions. Firing, unlocking, extraction, ejection, cocking, loading, locking. From firing to locking, the cycle of operations takes seven one hundredths of a second. The action of the bolt carrier on the bolt cam pin unlocks the bolt. Continuing rearward motion of the cocking handle cocks the hammer. and withdraws the bolt from the breech, allowing the cartridge to rise into the feedway. Release of the cocking handle propels the bolt forward to contact the cartridge in the feedway. The cartridge is chambered. The bolt carrier continues its forward motion, forcing rotation of the bolt cam pin. The action of the bolt cam pin locks the bolt lugs behind the barrel extension lugs. The weapon is ready to fire. The impact of the firing pin against the primer ignites the propellant. Combustion of the propellant produces heat and gas. Expansion of the gas forces the bullet to detach from the cartridge. The bullet is engraved by the rifling of the barrel. The gases flow through the gas port and a gas tube to the bolt carrier. And drive it to the rear. Rearward motion of the bolt carrier unlocks the bolt from the barrel extension. The bolt extracts the cartridge case from the chamber. The cartridge case 
is ejected from the breech. The disconnector engages the upper hammer bent to prevent refiring. Decompression of the return spring in the rifle butt forces the lower bolt lug against the cartridge. The cartridge is chambered. Continued forward motion of the bolt carrier locks the bolt into the barrel extension. The trigger must be fully released before the rifle can fire again. is held to the rear by the sear engaged in the lower hammer bent. When the trigger is squeezed, the sear disengages and the hammer rotates forward, striking the firing pin. Combustion of the propellant produces heat and gas. When the gas builds up to its maximum pressure, the bullet is forced from the cartridge. The gas pressure in the bore must drop to a safe level before the bolt unlocks from the barrel extension. Enough gas returns through the gas tube to force the bolt carrier to the rear Unlock the bolt and extract the cartridge case. The extractor is on the side of the bolt. The extractor claw was forced into the cartridge groove during loading. The spring-loaded ejector pushes against the base of the cartridge case and forces it out the ejection port. The hammer is rotated to the rear by the bolt carrier until a disconnector engages the upper hammer bent. In the butt of the rifle is the buffer assembly. The discs and loose weights prevent bounce back of the bolt carrier when it strikes the barrel extension on counter recoil. They also assist in regulating the cyclic rate of fire. The hammer is held to the rear by the disconnector until the trigger is released. The base of the cartridge is struck by the lower bolt lug and centers on the bolt face. The extractor clips into the groove of the chambered cartridge. The firing pin cannot contact the cartridge until the bolt locks into the barrel extension. The weapon is ready to fire only when the trigger is fully released. The hammer is now released from the disconnector and is held by the sear, firing on repetition or single shot. The cutaway section of the fire control selector allows the sear to release the hammer 
when the trigger is squeezed. The disconnector rotates forward to engage the hammer and prevent refiring before the operator can release the trigger. Firing on automatic. When the fire control selector is on auto, the disconnector is prevented from moving forward and engaging the hammer by a cam on the fire control selector. The rearward motion of the bolt carrier rotates the hammer to the rear. On the return or forward motion, the hammer is held by the automatic sear until the automatic sear is knocked forward by the bolt carrier and the hammer is released. When the trigger is released, the hammer is released by the automatic sear and caught by the trigger sear and automatic firing ceases. <laughs>